on the year to date information for the balance sheet and income statement. So basically we've constructed this already. We already have in essence our outline that we're gonna pick up and we're just gonna add a few accounts. And again, we'll construct the whole thing from scratch in a future presentation, but I wanna just look at this outline first. This outline is designed to basically be drawn from the financial statements in a similar way as accounting software can basically be put together straight, straight, straight from the data input and the, the general ledger type of activity. And, and notice that accounting software has a few other little tricks that it could use that could kind of make the reporting purposes a little bit different, like sub accounts. But for, and, and from a general standpoint, this is going to be kind of similar to what we would have in accounting software. And then again, next time, we'll try to take a step beyond that and say, what other kind of cleanup work might you do for presentational purposes for standard presentation? So again, we got the checking account. We've got undeposited funds. These are pulling over. We, we might actually go from here and use our little tool right here to see, is that one pulling over? It is. This tool, by the way, is in the data tab. And it's going to be, it's going to be, no, it's in the formulas tab. It's in the formulas tab. It's right here. And I put this into my quick toolbar up top so that I can use them. And then I'm going to say, I'm even going to include this zero. That's one of the things that we might clean up and if we were to put this in, into our books, also into a more clean kind of format of financial statements. Also note, it's not typically the case that we want to report these items as checking account and undeposited funds, but possibly something like cash and cash equivalents, which again, you can't really do so much in a lot of accounting softwares oftentimes because it's going to be in there by the designation of the account, uh, the account type under the checking account, typically, if you're looking at something like QuickBooks. So those are some things we'll look at next time to kind of clean up. This one is going to the accounts receivable. And then this one is going to go to the inventory. So all of these accounts are being picked up. We've got the short-term investment. That one is now at zero. Sometimes accounting software can kind of pick that up if you put an option on to say don't pull in zero balances. But we'll keep the zero balances in our case because we're going to be using all accounts here so we could see how we could construct this in Excel with all the accounts. And then we're looking at the furniture and equipment, which is pulling over. That looks correct. Remember that the furniture and equipment is one of those areas, the property, plant, and equipment.